Well then, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next session. Now, uh, yeah, you join me down at Wind Whistle Course Fishery. Now, it's not a venue I've fished before. It's been on the radar for a little while. I've been trying to get down here um, throughout the course of sort of winter for a bit of a day session, um, but for whatever reason, whether it's flooding, you know, banks that are too muddy and slippery and just a whole host of other things, I've not been able to get down here. Um, so now, as you can see, we've got a beautiful, beautiful day and I've got a uh, weekend ahead of me until Sunday, 5 p.m. here at Wind Whistle to, uh, yeah, try and put a couple of fish on the mat. Now uh, the gates open at 8 a.m. and I've done a bit of a walk around the lake. There are a uh, half dozen anglers on here as well with me, but it seems that most of them are here for the day. So it's probably going to be quite a quiet um, lake this evening, in all honesty. So uh, just in the process of uh, getting a couple of rods rigged up, I've got my baiting pole with me. I've kind of dotted myself in the middle of the lake, which is cut off on one side with an island, which doesn't impact obviously anybody else. Um, and the guy over to the left who I did speak to, and uh, it is his birthday today. And uh, yeah, a couple of other friends are coming down. So they've got that whole bank to themselves, um, which keeps them sort of out the way of me and me out the way of them. And then, uh, yeah, there's just a few other anglers dotted around the lake on the opposite side so i've got kind of like this whole bank really the road bank to myself which is quite nice so uh yeah got the baiting pole with me going to keep everything low key get a couple of uh get a couple of rods out a little bit of bait around them real simple tactics and uh yeah just sit back and soak up this sun because it is absolutely beautiful so yeah i think it's time to uh get these rods sorted slip them out i've got the uh i've got the deeper with me as well because i really don't know much about this lake um the water looks quite murky as well so visibility isn't that great when i was walking around this morning with the uh with the uh polaroids and stuff like that so i'm hoping that this is going to help me uh just pinpoint the depths what i've got to play with and uh yeah hopefully find some nice clean spots there's a lot of trees and stuff obviously dotted around the edge on the islands that sort of thing so it might be that like might be that there's a bit of muck on the on the lake bed that we need to uh that we need to tackle so uh so yeah let's get everything sorted let's get a couple of rods out and uh let's hope that we can stick a couple of fish in front of the camera gone 1 p.m. and the morning has been uh, rather slow nothing to report at the moment so uh, I had both rods in decided to take a little walk up the track and uh, go and check out the facilities here at Wind Whistle now there's toilets there's showers there's a fully stocked out tackle shop on site there's also a cafe and a bar as well so yeah everything you could possibly need for your stay if you were to visit Wind Whistle now uh, yeah, being the uh, fat git that I am, decided to uh, order a, uh, a double cheeseburger, which I'm pretty sure is going to see me through the rest of the day. Look at the size of this. Five quid. Look at that. Absolute wedge. I'm going to struggle to uh, yeah, get my mouth around that, let alone uh, demolish it all. But yeah, look at the size of that. Five quid, that was. There's nowhere that you're uh, gonna go that you're gonna get an absolute massive burger like that for a fiver, no chance. And uh, sorted me out a free coffee as well. So yeah, much appreciative of that to wash it down with. But uh, yes, talking to, uh, talking in the shop about how to maybe tweak things, adjust things, how it's possibly, you know, it's best to fish, wind whistle. And uh, I think I need to make a few adjustments on my, uh, on my rigs. Um, to yeah try and maximize some buy opportunities whilst i'm here so uh yeah i think i need to scale down hook size um chop and change a few uh bits and pieces and hopefully they work in my favor but first where is it i'm going to get my mouth around that absolute wedge of a burger 
and then uh, yeah we'll see if we can put a little plan of attack going into the afternoon to try and make something happen. The rig and hook bait change has paid off. We've got our first wind whistle carp on the mat. Really nice, short, dumpy little common there. Taken off the uh, left hand rod that's over to the island. And uh, yeah, believe it or not, the, the birds, the ducks are absolutely mullering me on that spot all of about 10 minutes ago. And then, uh, yeah, this one hooped the rod round. So well happy with that. So I'm gonna get a couple of pictures quickly. We're slipping back, we'll get that rod sorted back over there and uh yeah see if we can make make it another one see if we can stick another one on the mat so yeah wow happy with that to get off the mark finally after uh yeah tweaking a couple of things well here we go then number two i was just in the process of trying to sort that left hand rod back out ready to stick it straight back out there when uh yeah the right hand rod hooped around after being tucked up against the uh the right hand side island that i've got in my uh in my swim give me a great little scrap underneath the uh underneath the rod tip really nice clean golden little common so uh yeah well happy with that turning one bite into two literally in the space of uh 10 minutes so Yep, wicked. So I've got no rods in the water now. Um, need to get both rods sorted. So uh, I'm going to slip this one back. He's giving me an absolute uh, nightmare on the mat. So I'm going to slip this one back and uh, get both of them rods back out. So we're coming into the last hour of daylight now, really. It's just gone uh, half past five, quarter to six. Um, the clouds have moved over and we're starting to see sporadic uh rain showers and uh the temperature's dropped off as well to be quite honest with you. it's a bit on the uh bit on the fresh side but both rods are out i'm happy to have had those two fish as well um this afternoon uh I was scratching my head a little bit this morning so uh yeah after a little tactical change a little rig change hook bait change um yeah we managed to stick two fish on the mat don't know what happened through the hours of darkness um not really too sure to be honest it might be that we need to wait until uh tomorrow and uh yeah get that sort of daytime warmth um going again it might just uh the, the sort of chilly nights might just uh yeah put them off but we'll have to wait and see i suppose but uh yeah i'm just glad to get off the mark in all honesty and uh stick a couple of fish on the mat from a, uh, a new little venue that uh, yeah I've never fished before so yeah quite happy with that so uh, yeah I think I'm just going to uh, chill out I haven't I don't know if you've been able to tell through the video but I haven't been feeling well at all this week still sort of kind of bunged up and a bit nasally and whatever else so I'm just going to spend the uh, yeah spend the next uh, next hour or so with the uh, the door down letterbox style just looking out over the water and just uh, yeah just chilling out it's been a uh, bit of a full-on day and uh, i was up early this morning anyway making my way here so uh yeah let's see what uh, the night the night brings and we will uh yeah we'll reassess in the morning i believe it's going to be uh, a bit of heavy rain throughout the night as well which isn't going to be great uh, but I think it's going to stop raining around sort of midday tomorrow so I might just get everything packed down and then maybe just go and have a wander around with a couple of rods and net and a mat and the camera and see if I can go and uh, yeah nick an extra bonus bite or two but uh, yeah we'll reassess in the morning after a uh, after a cup of coffee so I'll leave it there if anything happens through dark I'll have the camera out if not we'll catch up in the morning Well, the rain has finally stopped, which means I managed to get both the rods back out now. I said I was going to possibly just go and have a little uh, fish, you know, dot myself around place, fish different swims. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much not going to happen today. A um, number of other sort of day session anglers have turned up and uh, I just find myself slotting in between other anglers, to be honest. And uh, 
with only sort of eight hours or so left of my session I don't really want to go sort of encroaching on their on their space either so I'm um, happy just to sit it out in this swim now the rods have gone straight back out to the same areas so one over to uh, just off the island there and then the other one which is just just down here which uh, yeah one of the ducks is just uh, again mullering me on there because it is so shallow and uh, yeah starting to get rather irritating in all honesty now just having a slow pack down um, just airing out the bivy everything else is just getting laid out ready to be packed away in some orderly fashion albeit if wet we're meant to get a bit of sunlight uh, a bit of sun sunshine later so hopefully that'll help dry things off um but uh yeah i think for the meantime i need to try and stop this duck that is just down there that knows my spoonful of bait is down there from diving and uh, picking up my hook bait and bloody hooking itself so i'd rather not have to deal with that this morning but at least the rain stopped no more rain today and hopefully i'll just put one more on the mat before i've got to disappear I've got flat calm overcast not seeing anything yet but there's always a chance of a couple of rods in the water As I mentioned, the ducks have been mullering me, um, especially on the left-hand one. And when I just retrieved this, the uh, hook bait and hook was just all wrapped around itself. It picked up a couple of times. It probably moved it the best part of a foot as well. So, uh, yeah, there's no better time just to quickly talk you through what I changed from yesterday uh, morning to the afternoon. So initially I started off with a uh, couple of spinner rigs, bright pop-ups, just to sort of sit amongst and on top of the, uh, the silt that was apparent in um, in front of me basically in that sort of three three and a half foot of water so uh yeah i thought you know i'll get my hook baits up out of the way of any bottom debris and uh you know a couple of nice bright ones smelly ones amongst that sort of dark um sort of browny colored water we've had a lot of rain and it looks like it's you know it's not done the uh the water quality any good any favors you know it's, it is a brownie color so i thought i'll start off with a couple of vis you know high visibility hook baits and uh, see where we go from there but then after visiting the tackle shop down the uh down the track there it uh, was apparent that maybe i should have uh, opted for a wafter and a smaller hook um, hook size in regards to my uh sort of terminal tackle and rig setup so uh, originally this used to be sort of like a match lake split between two so they're used to seeing small baits small hooks that sort of thing so i scaled down and opt then chose to opt for a slip d rig and a, uh, a trim down wafter so i'm fishing on a size six now in um in comparison to a size four curve um, which i was using yesterday you know with a, with a 15 mil pop-up over the top bit blatant bit too big and uh yeah funnily enough once i changed to this setup um and just tweaked and adjusted my uh tactics accordingly um i had two bites within the hour and both of them were you know within the space of sort of 10 minutes once i'd landed one and got that one sorted the other rod was away just as i was trying to get that rod back out so uh it definitely works and the uh tactics certainly stuck to fish on the bank for me so just a seven 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 and a half inch uh slip d rig there nice small size six hook trimmed down wafter taking all the edges off it made it sort of a third third less in size two and a half ounce uh, flat pair lead down to a uh, lead clip setup all that pops off nice and easy it's quite snaggy and rooty in places so i didn't want to uh give the fish any reason to get in danger and that also pops out the uh the swivel from inside the lead clip nice and easy so the fish gets the initial hit of that two and a half ounce lead and then that just slides out and it turns pretty much into a running rig and then just finished off with a small section of uh of tube in there just to keep everything tucked down and safe out of the way it's only three three and a half foot out there so i didn't really need masses and you know massive tail end of uh sort of leadless leader or, or tubing or anything like that just enough to keep the last foot or so out of the way and uh yeah that'd be pinned down nicely so the tactics that i made the switch worked it got me two bites within the hour so as i say this one got mullered by the ducks i need to get it freshened up get it straight back out there 
and uh, yeah just going to try and put another fish on the map before it got to disappear this afternoon. Well I've made the move and in the space of uh, yeah literally walking a, uh, a quarter of the lake if that the sun has come out and I'm down to a t-shirt it is absolutely roasting so yeah I uh, trudged around with the bare essentials just you know rod mat bushwhacker poles etc and uh, yeah by the time I got it I was absolutely sweating my nuts off plus trying to get the rods out whilst uh, not going arse over tit in all that lot down there it is literally like a ski slope um, the rods are out though uh, one has gone just out to the sort of corner of the island um, just to the right hand side there and then one over to the left so just intercepting anything that might be coming through in and around this area of the lake now it's, I've, I feel it was a good move as well because the, the sun is now on my back it's beaten down into this area of the lake and uh, yeah I feel like if there's any fish about with this being so shallow um, you know it's, it's best part of four foot out there so only half a foot difference really from what I was getting around uh, in my original swim um, I definitely feel that that sun penetrating down onto uh, onto those two areas will uh, yeah definitely be uh, worthwhile and beneficial for the carp to come round and uh, <coughs> excuse me get some sun on their backs so I'm going to get a bucket sit as close as I can to the uh, to the rods whilst uh, yeah not being in that uh, sludge down there and that way I can be on the rod straight away if anything occurs I've got them locked up there's no line to give so uh, yeah if I have anything that's going to be a bit of a hit and hold situation because I just don't want them getting in to any of that sort of undergrowth in and around these islands so I'm going to get myself down there, sit down next to the rods and hope the, uh, hope the work, a move is worthwhile. Well then, we've uh, managed to get ourselves another bite and uh, that was off the, uh, the right hander. But, uh, but yeah, what did I say about going arse over tit? So yeah, pretty much my backside is covered in mud because I wanted to get on the rod straight away to stop it from getting into uh, obviously any of the islands um, snagged or anything like that. So I've uh, rushed down to the rod the jumper is just absolutely caked full of mud i've got uh, ass cheeks full of mud but uh you know what i don't care because uh it'll be home time soon in a couple of hours the sun is shining and down there we have got ourselves another fish in the net so yeah well happy with that i've got spare clothes in the car anyway for the uh for the journey home so not all is bad but uh yeah anyone that uh saw me rush down to the rods would have probably had a uh, a good laugh but uh yeah let's get this one out of the net let's go and have a little look at him and uh yeah see what my reward is for uh slip and sliding down there all right finally he's let me pick him up after uh yeah quite a short and spirited battle but um, yeah, it's well worth the move. It's paid off. It was probably my biggest fish of the session, to be fair. And uh, yeah, I've got a uh, backside full of mud, but it's worth it getting down to the rod, stopping him from getting into those snags. Yeah, nice, nice mirror full of battle because he's uh, yeah hardly done anything out in open water. Managed to uh, steer him away and get him into the net even though I was sat on my backside amongst all of that mud. So yeah, happy days. I'm sh it's a shame I didn't uh, catch it on camera because it would have probably got million of, millions of views just on its own. What an epic fail. But uh, yeah, I don't mind. When the fish is safely in my net and uh, yeah, not caught up in any of the snags. So well happy with that. Number three. And what a lovely way to uh, yeah round off the weekend. The sun shining, third fish on the mat. Nearly time to wrap it up and call it a day. 
All right, so how did the ordeal of me uh, going down the bank pan out? So I was literally just down here, lead in, lead in the mat, just uh, chilling out down here, soaking up the sun. Beautiful Sunday afternoon, right hand rod goes busting off. So make a very short trip down here and you can already start to see where it's gone wrong. One foot's gone, the other one's gone. And then, uh, yeah, me big old bum has hit the mud there. And as you can see, it's just gone whoop straight down the bank. And uh, just left with me, uh, me legs dangling up in the air. But not only that, I've managed to obviously grab the rod. Look at the state of those handles. So I've grabbed the right hand rod and managed to uh, steer the fish away from those snags. I'm fishing just up to the corner over here. So yeah, I managed to steer the fish away. And uh, yeah, basically get him into my net away from safe and harm. But yeah, just look at it down here. It's always going to happen. You know, look at it. Treacherous, mate. And you can tell where it all started to go wrong just up here. And then that was it, wasn't it? Once I've gone, no stopping me then. But uh, just want to say thank you to the guy over there, um, just in front of that white van, fishing with his son. Um, he actually came around, saw me with my uh, legs up in the air. And uh, just wanted to come and make sure I was all good. So yeah, really appreciate that. Thank you for uh, popping round. It's uh, yeah, it's nice to nice to see that. I don't even know the guy, but he's come round to make sure I ain't done myself an injury. So yeah, really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, dear oh dear, thank God I got some spare clothes in the car because yeah, I would be driving home in my underpants. Well, I was umming and ahhing about uh, putting that rod back out. In all honesty, uh, time was getting on. Um, you know, there's probably about an hour or so left of the session, but I'm glad I did because, uh, yeah, I managed to put another fish on the mat. He's the uh, smallest of the session so far, but still, it's another bite and another fish. And not only that, I made him um, made it down to the rods without going uh, over on my backside again. But yeah, little clean common for me efforts. Nice to hear the alarms sing one more time. So that's that rod staying in now. I'd uh, pretty much had everything loaded into the mat, in all honesty, ready to get myself off. But uh, yeah, this little common uh, made a appearance on the rod that uh, had just done that previous bite. So I'm glad I stuck it back out over to that area and nabbed myself one more before home time. So uh, yeah, I think that's a wrap. So if you watch this video, thank you for watching as always. Feel free to give me a subscribe on the channel. Leave me a comment below. Um, get in touch on any of my social media. I'm going to wrap it up there. I need to get myself sorted, get the gear back to the car, get changed and get myself off home for a much needed shower. So again, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you next time. I am out on the bank.